William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com. Looking at the ACC football conference, uh, lots of storylines entering this season, particularly in the coaching ranks. And while if you read below, you read the full article, you'll see a lot of different thoughts on a lot of different coaches. There's one coach that has to steal a spotlight here, and of course it is Jimbo Fisher at Florida State. Lots of people, for some reason, as I write in the article, think that Jimbo Fisher failed to win without Jameis Winston on the field. However, a couple of early successful seasons without Winston before he suited up. Now the question is, can he sustain that success? I believe that he can. This program is more than one player. Athletes all over the field on both sides of the ball. Certainly he's got the talent to do it. But Jimbo Fisher has pressure now. You reach a national title game and win it. Then you reach the college football playoff, but you're embarrassed by the University of Oregon, despite having a second year, potential number one overall draft pick at the quarterback position. You've got to find a way to break through once again. The ACC is going to be a really dynamic conference this year because of the fact that you have Georgia Tech in the Coastal Division that is likely the favorite and might even be a favorite to take over the Seminole spot in that college football playoff at the end of the season. Jimbo Fisher's got to find a way to rebound. You want to keep the momentum going when you recruit at the level that he has, when you coach at the level that he has, and when you win at the level that he has, expectations are high. The standard is set. It's up to you to live up to it. I think Jimbo Fisher does. I do have Georgia Tech probably winning this conference right now as things stand. I want to see how things develop with the Seminoles as well, but... He is the guy to watch, I think. There's got to be so much media attention on him, not just for his on-the-field success or failures that might come up, but certainly off-the-field issues that have plagued the Florida State football program. There's going to be a media circus in Tallahassee this year. I think that's got to be your number one overall storyline entering this offseason and going forward with the 2015 college football season.